seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. After waiting for a few months due to modifications to the chopstick systems and regulatory hurdles, SpaceX launched Flight 5 of Starship. Building on previous successes and leveraging the precision of Flight 4, the goal was to capture the booster. The ascent went flawlessly, with no engine failures, no hot staging or boost backburning. SpaceX is trying some new things with Flight 6. With the changes to Ship 31, it will be interesting to see if it can survive re-entry. As always, SpaceX was able to capture the booster for the second time. After a near-perfect fifth flight just a month ago, SpaceX is poised to set a Starship turnaround record by flying Flight 6 by 4 p.m. Canada time on Tuesday, November 19. For Flight 6, SpaceX aims to refuel Ship 31's spaceflight and land during the day. Booster 13 will also attempt to return to the launch site to reach the milestone of Flight 5. The U.S. Space Agency has contracted SpaceX to build a version of Starship to be used as a lunar lander for the Artemis 3 mission, which aims to return astronauts to the lunar surface. Artemis 3, the third flight of NASA's Artemis program, is currently scheduled to launch in late 2026, while its precursor mission Artemis 2 will send astronauts around the moon and return in November 2025. Both missions have been postponed by NASA to 2024 and 2025, respectively. Now, any delays in Starship's development could further delay NASA's Artemis program. Starship is the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. It can transport up to 150 tons of reusable goods and 250 tons of consumer goods. NASA has selected Starship as the agency's first manned lunar landing system since the Apollo program, but SpaceX must first complete dozens, if not hundreds, of test flights before it can send humans on board. The flight profile for IFT-6 largely mirrors that of IFT-5, with Super Heavy returning to the launch site as the 165-foot-tall Starship upper stage continues onward into space. Building from its previous flight, SpaceX has added an additional goal to tomorrow's launch, not included on IFT-5, but one that's critical to Starship's operational qualification. NASA aims to return humans to the moon by 2026 as part of its Artemis program, but this goal has been postponed multiple times. A review of the plan by NASA's Office of Inspector General has found that the Artemis 3 mission may not take place until 2027. The entire SpaceX team is proud of the engineering feat they've accomplished, and the world has gotten to see what the future holds when Starship transports crew and cargo to destinations like Earth, the Moon, Mars and beyond.